Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I am memory planning my Christmas spread for 2020, which at this point feels further away than Christmas 2021, but I am still working on catching up, so here we are. Um, the kit that I'm gonna be using this week is from Letters to Apollo. This is a new shop for me, and this is the first time that I'm gonna be using a kit from her shop. This one is called Wishes, and it's a photo kit with a gold foil finish, as you can see. Here we have the nine full boxes and some quarter boxes at the bottom. And then on this page, we have the foiled headers, we've got some circle icons, habit trackers, some bow checklists, a Monday through Sunday box, as well as a full box checklist list and then a set of date covers. The next page here is not foiled and we've got all of the half boxes and quarter boxes. And then the last page here is foiled. We've got the bottom washi, which is two different strips and we've got the cinnamon rolls here. And then we have some flags, some icons, and then some foiled headers for the sidebars. And um, just looking at this kit format, I think it's gonna work really well with my planning because there's a ton of boxes included. She also like really saves space because up here at the top there is like an extra header that's cut out so that you can use it um, I don't know like for anything that you might want it's just a way to add more stickers to the kit which I love so yeah I'm really excited to be doing this because it's been a while since I've tried out a new kit um, so as usual let's go ahead and place down the bottom washi first and then I'll continue to build the rest of the spread I decided to use both of the bottom washi strips because I felt like they were both so reminiscent of Christmas. And um, even though the bottom washi section on this planner is a little bit smaller, I just made it fit by pretty much extending that um, thicker washi all the way to the bottom, as you can see. Um, so yeah, I was able to fit them in that section. And then I go ahead and move on to my sidebar. I placed down the quote box in the sidebar, which says warm winter wishes, which is just so ironic because I'm currently on spring break and it is probably like 80 degrees outside um, but anyways I then continued to build the rest of my sidebar that this week's script sticker is from Magic Prince Co I decided to place that on a washi strip that came in the kit and I trimmed it down so it would fit and then I used the habit tracker the full box checklist and the Monday through Sunday box for the remainder of the sidebar for my happy moments, I decided to pull in this cupcake icon that came in the kit, and then the happy moments script is in my writing, and that's from Planner Just For You. Speaking of Planner Just For You, um, we have a ton of new releases that Sophie has been working on, and I think she's been releasing them over the past month, so if you guys are interested in checking out some new stuff, I'm going to be featuring them in my next video, but you can always check the website to see what we've got on there. Um, but anyways, continuing with my spread, I just placed down all the date covers, and then moving to Monday, I first placed down the full box at the very bottom because I knew that's where I wanted it, so I just wanted to block out that space. At the very top, I used a foiled header and then used a third box along with this box icon from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that we cleaned and packed all morning in preparation for our move. Um, Dizzy Daisy Dreams hasn't been open in a while. I don't know if she is planning to. Um, I know she was like in law school, so just didn't have a lot of time for her shop, but I absolutely love her little doodle icons. Um, and then I used a phone icon from the kit to mark that I had some phone calls to make for our loan. It was like super last minute because we were closing the next day so it was a little bit stressful but it all worked out and then we went and picked up some moving boxes from our friends which I marked with a foiled icon I think that's from Nikki plus three and then on the half box I placed down I used a laptop sticker from Magic Prince Co to mark that I did a Christmas zoom call with some of my best friends and while I was on the call um, the notary actually came over to our house so that we could sign all of our loan documents and things like that um, and for any of you who have gone through this process I'm sure you know there is so much paperwork to sign I probably signed my name like a hundred times but I was just so glad to get that done because he literally came over at like 9 30 p.m like the last moment possible so yeah I was just like thankful that we were able to get it done before our closing date 
On Tuesday, I first placed down a full box in the middle, and then I go ahead and place down a full box that I wanted at the top of Wednesday. Then moving back to Tuesday, I wanted to mark sleeping in, so I used a sleeping mask sticker, which is from Simply Said Life, and then underneath that, I created a checklist by using an important header along with a check flag, and um, I used the important header because I had a ton of errands to run, which included going over to the bank to wire over our money for the um, down payment for our house, so it was definitely a very important task and also was just really daunting sending over such a large sum of money. Like I've never dealt with anything even remotely close to that financially. So it was definitely a little freaky. Um, but anyways, I did also check my PO box. So I used this mail icon, which is from the sticker jungle. At the bottom of Tuesday, I used a foiled icon and a half box. And then on top of the half box, I put down a foiled heart from Hazel Sticker and the celebratory munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that we were officially homeowners by the end of Tuesday. Everything went through smoothly, thank goodness. And um, yeah, we officially bought our house. Um, and then that night I had some friends over um, just for like a little backyard hang. And to mark that, I used a beer sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. On Wednesday, underneath the full box, I pulled in a foiled header along with, I think it's a quarter box or a third box, I can't really tell, and that foiled bow sticker is from Clever Gal Crafts. I used that to mark getting our keys to our home, and then we kind of had to get started with all of the logistics, so we called to set up our utilities and also scheduled a cleaner to come in. Um, the phone icon is from Planning Like a Pro, and then to kind of celebrate that night, we decided to get sushi for takeout. Um, the sushi sticker is from from Sunset Sticker Co., which unfortunately is no longer open, um, but I felt like that icon really worked with this kit. That evening, we watched a show called Alice in Borderland, which um, honestly, I don't recommend because it is so scary. So unless you like really suspenseful, um, kind of gory, like scary shows like that, I definitely would not recommend it. I was like freaking out and I ended up stopping to go and do something else. And that TV icon, I believe, is from the Pretty Pink Co., that night, our cat Pokey had a really short seizure. She's been on medication, so the good thing is that her seizures have been really short, and um, that arrow icon I pulled in is from Nikki Plus 3. Now moving on to Thursday, I first started by using a foiled header and a half box. Um, I pulled in this Christmas Eve sticker from Planner Just For You, and that's in my writing. It's part of our holiday sheet. And I decided I wanted to like jazz up this box. So I pulled in this like gold foiled icon from Simply Said Life, but I just didn't like how it turned out. And Honestly, looking at it now, it looks just fine. I wish I would have just kept it, but at the time I was just not satisfied. And so I decided to replace it with a different icon from Simply Said Life as well. I still didn't love how it turned out, but by that time I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. Um, so I moved on to the rest of the day. At the bottom, I placed down a full box and then I used a um, pillow sticker from Happy Sherpa Papery to mark that I had a lazy morning on Christmas Eve, which was lovely. Um, we went to the grocery store to get some things that we needed for our Christmas dinner that we were doing the following night. And the um, grocery icon is from Hazel Sticker. On the quarter box, I used a foiled like baking mitt sticker that's from Station Stickers. It was part of a freebie that I got from her, and I used that to mark making snickerdoodle cookies. They turned out okay, definitely not my favorite, so I'll have to kind of play around with that more. Um, but then in the remaining space above that, I used a flag from the kit along with this washi icon. I'm pretty sure that's from Happy Sherpa Papery as well, and I used that to mark filming that night. On Friday, Friday was Christmas Day. Um, it was kind of different this year because we decided not to go visit family. So this was the first Christmas that my boyfriend and I spent um, by ourselves. It was just very strange and definitely a little bit lonely, but we wanted to make sure we stayed safe. And so yeah, it was definitely for the best. Um, I started the day by placing down the full box with the cinnamon rolls because we always have cinnamon rolls on Christmas day. So we definitely continued that tradition. And then on the half box, I pulled in the Merry Christmas sticker in my writing again. So it's planner just for you. And I also used this gold foiled heart from Hazel sticker. 
there was a little bit of empty space in that box still, so I decided to pull in these really cute hanging bows from Sadie Stickers, and I did have to trim them so that they fit in the box. This part took a while, so I'm gonna like really fast forward through this. It just took me a while to place down the bows exactly how I wanted them. I had to keep adjusting, and then I trimmed off the excess with my slice precision cutter, and um, I really like how that turned out. I then placed down all the functional boxes and icons that I knew I was going to use for the rest of the day. I actually had um, so much that I wanted to mark on Christmas and not enough space to mark it. Um, so I just had to kind of consolidate and choose like the top five things I wanted to include. So I definitely wanted to include that we had cinnamon rolls and we opened some presents that were sent to us in the mail. That bear in a box sticker is from Olive Planner Co. I think it's so cute. And then on the checklist, I just marked some things that we did later that day. We FaceTime with our family and then we exchanged some baked goods with some friends and then went on a walk. Um, that shoe sticker I pulled in is from Paper Muse Crafts. At the end of the night, we just had our little Christmas dinner by ourselves, just the two of us. We ended up cooking like so much food. We had quite a bit of leftovers, but since we weren't able to see family, we still wanted to make it a special occasion. And I found this Christmas dinner sticker from Simply Said Life. It was part of a holiday freebie that she had included. And I just thought it was so perfect to mark the occasion. That gold foiled bow is from Clever Gal Crafts. On Saturday and Sunday, I decided to place down the two full boxes that I was planning to use, and then I go ahead and continue on with Saturday. Um, the first thing I did was use a quarter box at the top, and that sleeping mask sticker, I believe, is from Happy Sherpa Papery. I use that to mark having a nice, lazy morning on Saturday. We then went out and got some new stuff for the house. Um, I did end up switching this part later on because I don't remember exactly why, but um, you'll see that in just a couple minutes. Um, I wanted to mark that we went and got our new fridge, which I absolutely love. We have the kind where it has like a little um, window in the front, and if you knock it twice, the light will come out so you can see inside the fridge. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but it's like so amazing. Um, it was definitely something we decided to splurge on. And then we went to living spaces which is a furniture store and we bought our living room set so like our couch our coffee table and our side table and the crazy thing is that um, we literally bought that stuff on December 26th and we just got it last week um, which was like in April so it took so long for our furniture to get here I think that's pretty normal right now just because of COVID um, things are like really backed up everybody's remodeling and um, getting new furniture so yeah it took us over three months to finally get our living room set um, but we are very excited to have it now on saturday we had tacos for dinner the taco sticker is from hazel sticker and then at the end of the night we did more packing and more organizing um, we weren't moving in until the following week so we definitely took our time to like pack and do all that stuff the box is again from daisy daisy dreams and then i placed down this gold foiled edit sticker from randy dot plans to mark that i did a little editing that night this is where I decided to switch up Saturday. I whited out everything and then decided to place down a half box. Um, that little truck sticker is from the kit. I believe it was an icon that was included. And then on the half box, I pulled in these bow stickers from um, Chic Chic Designs to mark that the cleaners we hired had come over and then we went to grab our new fridge. Um, then moving on to Sunday, I first placed down a foiled header and then I replaced that gold foiled heart that I had initially used on Saturday. I used that to mark our new fridge getting here it was great that it only took a day for them to um, deliver it and then um, underneath that I decided to use a half box to mark that I had some friends come over to our new place we had no furniture but we just sat outside in the patio and um, just kind of hung out and talked um, and that bow sticker is from Hazel sticker my friends and I went and grabbed some boba from Ding Tea. So I used a quarter box and that boba icon is from Once More With Love. And then in that little empty space I had left, I used a foiled circle icon from the kit and this coffee sticker, which I got so long ago. I'm not sure which shop that's from. Um, I'm pretty sure she's not open anymore, but I used that to mark making Dalgona coffee that morning. At the end of the night, we watched a show called Unbelievable. It might be like a documentary. I can't really remember. Um, but to mark that, I used a popcorn sticker and this gold foiled TV is from Magic Prince Co. That concludes my Christmas week. It was definitely a relaxing but 
also very eventful and exciting week. And now I'm just moving back to my sidebar to track all of my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. Pretty sure I did not do a single workout, so didn't have to track that. Um, but anyways, once I'm done with that, I go ahead and show you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit. I decided to do an extra long Viv Wiggle this week because I felt like the foiling was so, so pretty in this kit. Um, something about this gold foil just complemented the like darker shades of red and the taupe. I don't know. It just like went together really, really nicely. I love, love that this was how my Christmas week turned out. Um, and yeah, now I'm just giving you guys a closer look at the details in this spread. I definitely will be shopping from Letters to Apollo again um, because her kits are so well formatted and just work really nicely for my planning style. That is it for this week. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I have been slowly but surely getting back to all my YouTube comments. And um, yeah, thank you all so, so much for being here, for watching, for supporting me. I love you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. And I will talk to you all next time. Bye.